Hey guys, we are not done with Christmas yet. I've got two videos coming for you, our DIY, easy DIY gifts that you can make for Christmas. But this first one today, it's an upcycle project. And do you recognize this? It is my daughter's uniform skirt for school. And I don't know about you, but we spent a lot of money on these things and a lot of times have them altered. So it's not like you can resell them. So it seems like such a waste to just get rid of them. So I've got a project for you that makes a great teacher ornament from used uniform skirts or new ones. I don't know why you'd buy a new one, but uniform skirts into ornaments for Christmas for the teachers. You're gonna wanna watch, stay tuned. Okay, the very first thing you want to do is take your seam ripper and open up the skirt so you don't have any hems or anything like that. So then you're gonna to want to iron out any wrinkles that you might have, especially now that you've taken that hem out. So then the first thing I did was I tried to draw around the ornament, but after I did that, I found that it wasn't quite the right shape. So then I got smart and realized it needed to be just a teeny bit bigger. And I happened to have a Starbucks cup nearby, so, that did the trick and so i created a template with the starbucks cup which turned out to be the exact perfect template for me so if you buy the ornaments that are same size as mine i'll put it in the comments below so you can source any of these products okay so the next thing i did was i took spray adhesive and i had two kinds because i lost <laughs> my krylon and i went to the store and they didn't have any so i bought this photo mount spray turns out i like the photo mount spray better it seemed like it had a finer mist to it so i sprayed photo mount onto the ornament took my cutout pieces and make sure that if you've drawn on them you put that side up so that you're going to tuck that into the ornament so that that won't show you're going to trim it anyway so it doesn't really matter the nice thing about this is, is if you don't get it exactly in the right spot you can reposition it but just gently kind of smooth the edges try to get all the wrinkles out so that it, it will tuck up onto the middle part of the ornament. You don't wanna have a big gap. A little gap is okay, but you don't wanna have a big gap. And so then after you've done that, go ahead and spray it on the other side and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take the cutout piece of fabric and place it so that it is covering the whole ornament. And then you're just gonna smooth it out with your fingers to make sure that it has no wrinkles or bubbles or also, if you're working with a plaid, you want to make sure that the plaid is straight. So if you stretch the fabric or anything, you might want to reposition it and you'll be able to do that for a few minutes before it dries. So just go around all the edges, make sure that you can get the fabric as close to the edge as possible, close to the other fabric edge. You're basically making a sandwich with it and just press it all along the edges as much as you can. It's okay if you have a little overlap up at the top no problem at all because you're going to trim it out later. Okay, so once you have that dried, as you can see, you have some extra fabric on the edges. Just go ahead and take your fabric scissors and trim all that excess off. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, a perfect seal on the edge because you're going to cover all this up. So just trim it as tightly as you can to the edge of the ornament. You'll have a little bit sticking up, but just try and get as much of it off as possible. And I went around it a couple of times just to make sure that I had as much of that overlap fabric off as possible because I wanted it to lay flat. Okay, the next thing you do is you're going to take your trim and this trim, I think it was like $2.99 from Joanne and it was just the right width. I would say it's probably what half an inch maybe. And before you glue anything down, measure it to see how much you need. And for this, I just wrapped it around how I was gonna put it onto the ornament and figured out how long that was and made a little trim for it. It will stretch a little bit if you need it to, but I wouldn't count on it. So I knew where I had, you know, I just held it with my thumb and then I cut it off and then I cut all my strips to kind of fit. I did one first, I always do one first to make sure you're doing it right. And then I went back and cut all my strips. Now then for the top, I did the same thing. I just wrapped it around to make sure I got the measurement right. And you might wanna go a little bit further on this because you are gonna put the cap back on and you'll have the side trim on there as well. You'll see what I mean in a second. 
And again, just cut all your pieces out so you have them all ready to go. I find that it's a lot faster when you're making several of these. Okay, so then before you are going to glue the sides on, it's very important that you put the top back onto the ornament because that's how it's gonna hang. And you won't be able to get that back on after you've put the trim on. So what I did was I put that cap back on and then I laid out the trim how I wanted it on the ornament. As you can see, it was a little bit long, so I just adjusted it so it was even on both sides. And then I flipped it over, and I think it's real important here not to go crazy with the hot glue at first. So I went to the very middle, and I just slightly moved the trim over a tiny bit so that I knew exactly where it was supposed to land in the middle of the bottom of the ornament. So this will help you from, you know, having it misplaced. Again, the hot glue, you can move it a little bit. And so if you need to tuck any of the fabric underneath, you can. And I think it's important not to go crazy with the hot glue all the way around because you'll need to make some adjustments. So it's a little bit slower process to do this, but I really only did a couple of inches at a time. And then I would put the trim down. And if I needed to tuck anything under, you know, it was easy to do that. Now keep in mind that the hot glue will seep out. So if you're using a high temp glue gun, you might want to use, I don't know, you might want to protect your hands with something. This is a Sherbond wireless glue gun. And so it was easy for me to just kind of touch it. The temperature wasn't too much. Okay, once you have gotten it on the sides, then go and finish the other side the same way you did the first one. Just doing a couple inches at a time, tucking it under as you needed to, it really is pretty forgiving because you, you've got that trim on there. And I will say, I originally started with gold trim and I didn't like it at all. So this is this is my second version of the ornament. Okay, once you've got the sides set the way you want them to be, you're ready to do the top. And much like the sides, I wrap it around first just to make sure that I've got the measurements correct. And I start on the seam, on the side seam from the other piece of trim. I just feel like it is less noticeable there. So I put a little bit of glue on top of that piece and that's where I started. And just like the sides, I did a little bit of glue. It, I didn't go crazy with it. I just did step by step and pull off any glue strings as you go. And I pulled it a little bit tight as I was going around it just to make sure it was secure and snug on there. And I finished on top of the other piece of trim. So this is only halfway through. Wrap it all the way around. There you go. You're going to finish on top of the other side of the trim. And then that way, if you have any excess, you can just trim it off with your fabric scissors. If you've measured it correctly, then just make sure you have enough glue on there that it's not going to unravel. And the white hides the clear glue pretty well. Snip off any excess that you have, and you are ready to put the bead on. From Joanne's, and I just thought they were beautiful, and the pearls went so nicely with the white. The only thing to keep in mind is when you're using a bead like this, is that it will sit up higher off the ornament. So you're gonna have to use a whole lot of hot glue. And I actually used two different methods for these. In this video, you're only seeing the hot glue. I put a whole lot in the middle, and then I went back and tried to put some glue underneath so it would catch the sort of uh, legs of the bead. And that seemed to work fine. The other thing that I did also was, I did a few of them using E6000, and I just put it on the, like, the four little legs of the bead and that seemed to work just fine as well. I think they're both probably equally good options to go with. Okay, so the last thing to do is to add a ribbon to the top. And I found this kind of lacy ribbon. I thought it was a little, I didn't think it was quite so lacy when I got it. It's probably not what I would get in the future, but I couldn't find just a plain white ribbon. And the thing is with this ribbon, it wasn't so easy to manipulate. So I'd probably go with a regular ribbon and not this one. It was, I don't even know what it was made out of, but it was difficult to tie it. I wouldn't use that again in the future. I'd just use a satin ribbon for it. But I thought it turned out nice and gave a little, a little bit more zhush to it. And that is it. 
as you can see, they all turned out beautiful. And I don't know if the teachers will realize that that is a uniform skirt or not. I, I did get feedback that one of them knew immediately that it was. So I think that's kind of fun. Anyway, I think it's a fun way to give a meaningful teacher gift for uh, your teachers. And it really didn't cost very much at all. So there you go. Upcycle your school uniform skirts. You could do this with anything, though. wouldn't have to just be school uniforms. You could do maybe a shirt from a loved one or, you know, one of your favorite T-shirts or, you know, there's all kinds of things that you could do to upcycle it. So have fun with it. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today. If you like the content in this video, please give it a thumbs up and I would be so honored if you'd hit that subscribe button as well. I put out videos about once a week and if you're completely new to my channel, I'm thinking, who is this person? Um, I'm Trista of Tried and True by Trista and I've been digitally publishing since 2010. I like to say I've been fearlessly crafting online since then. So I'd love for you to join me. We got lots of fun videos coming out in the future. So thanks so much for joining me and we'll talk to you soon.